Okay, Sam's here now. We'll start with Sky Sports News, please. Thank you. Hi, Sam. What are your thoughts after that? Can't believe we haven't won. Uh, can't believe we've not um, taken um, the chances that we created and, and converted a, a performance uh, into a victory. Um uh, not a great performance for the first half an hour, but how we made the change to the to the system, um, we got better. We had a, a clear cut chance that ended up getting cleared off the line, and then we'd um, two magnificent chances in the second half, one on one with the keeper and missed them both, and then a great goal from the cross from Connor and Edda. Uh, which which meant that that should have been two or even three one up by that stage, and um, I'm very uh, very sad for the players that they haven't converted this this um, this game into a victory. And uh, and then when you want to, you don't want to kick in the teeth. You look at Wolves' goal, and you say, why can't we get a bit of luck like that in a game like this? And horrendous conditions for both players who, who try to master it mastered it brilliantly and we obviously mastered it better second half than they did and that's why we created more or clearer cut chances than them What have you said to them afterwards and how do you keep them going and keep them motivated until it's mathematically the, Well we're, prof we're professionals and uh, you know I think that uh, as professionals we owe it to everybody at the club all the fans ourselves that we keep a professional attitude and, and, and go out and try and win every game we've got left and then hope that every team above us loses every game that they've got and by some magic miracle and some fairy dust uh, that uh, we stay up. And and if you don't, I mean, Jimmy Carragher says, I can't think of anyone better to get them out of the championship than than you. What, what needs to happen for, for you to stay on? It uh, needs a good, a good, a good open discussion on uh, on who and what we would be starting with, and what the uh, difficulties are going to arise from this club being relegated, and really that would be what financial difficulties will be the first priority for the club. I, I actually accept that, um, and obviously those financial financial priorities would have to be addressed. So. You know, what's left after that would be then the discussion on what the way forward would be. Um, and for me, how, how good a chance we'd have of bouncing straight back. Do you, just finally, Sam, do you begin those sort of talks this week, get them done as soon as possible, or, or do you wait until everything's finalised? Um, no, I think we're, we've already touched on it. We haven't gone to great length or depths, but we've already done a little bit, but not, not an awful lot, but we'll... As time ticks on now, we'll do a little bit more and a little bit more. Thanks very much. Thank you. Cheers. Can we get to Joe Chapman now from the Birmingham Mail? And Sam, uh, Sam, I was just going to ask you about the, the formation, the, the setup to bring Dar in. And of course, we've seen it before this season where he's unfortunately had to be sacrificed in the first half. What was your thinking from the off to, to start with a back three? Uh, that's because Wolves have been playing with the back three for the last four or five games from our scouting reports. And they've been playing two, two up top, one in behind, so uh, which is very or nearly almost the same as Chelsea play. Um, so we went down to Chelsea with a back, uh, a back three, and uh, obviously um, our surprise was that Wolves today didn't play with a back three or two up top. So uh, I had to wait and see whether our system was going to be uh, better than their system, whether the players were going to cause more problems to Wolves than Wolves were going to cause to us and actual after 25 minutes that wasn't the case so as an experienced manager like me I don't wait till half time I just get it done done and dusted as quick as I can um, to change to change the format of the game which um, which obviously ultimately from then on we got stronger and stronger better and better and created far more clear cut chances than, than Wolves did and then Wolves go and score one of the luckiest goals of the season um, with a deflection that should have gone or should have gone nowhere near going in, but unfortunately for us did. Was there a frustration that 
after the start, I mean, you look back at the, first, the last home game against Southampton where it was really rip-roaring start, the chances came. Frustration that even with the, the game nil-nil, that it was quite a sluggish start in comparison today. Well, we had better chances today than we had against Southampton. Connor Townsend's one-on-one with the keeper. Connor Gallagher's one-on-one with the keeper. And by his header on the far post off the corner. Uh, these are these are guilt edge that have, have, haven't been taken. So the rest of the performance in the position that we're in uh, doesn't really matter. What it matters is taking those chances. And if we'd have come off winning 3-1 today, you'd be saying how well we played. Finally, I suppose, ultimately, you take the relegation battle aside, it's quite nice to just be unbeaten against Wolves over two games this season. Uh, I would have thought the fans would be happy about that other than these circumstances, but it's these circumstances, so uh, even they'll be massively disappointed that we haven't, we haven't won today. Um, and, and, of course, they'll be massively disappointed like we are. We didn't beat our other local rivals, which we should have done, which was Aston Villa a few days ago. And unfortunately, that's that's we've had to look back on this situation far too many times. Unfortunately, um, but I can give the players a lot of credit for the fact. I think we've only lost three in the last eleven, um, and we could have won seven or eight of those, at least six, um, and that might have given us a fight, better fighting chance going into the last four games. Steve, maybe the athletic, please. Hi, Sam. It's a it sounds from what you said earlier that, that you've enjoyed yourself enough at West Brom that, that you fancy the challenge of bringing them back next season if if the conditions are right. Is that is that a fair re- reading of your position at the moment? No, you've read, you've, you're exaggerating my my opinion. I haven't said anything about what I'm going to do next season until I have discussions with the with uh, with the board um, as soon as possible. We've had small um, areas of discussion um, over pre season, but other than that, no real discussions to. To our our fate as it gets ever closer, I think behind closed doors we'd have to start uh, looking at that situation um, in, in terms of uh, greater detail on on where and how we're going to do it. Okay, thank you, everyone.